Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bash, playing some Call of Duty Black Ops, as you guys can tell, some domination on Stadium, and I'm using a naked Silence the Galil, naked, because it has no camo, which is boring, because I love my camos, but obviously I was probably too low of a level or just didn't have the money to unlock a camo, so I didn't, but besides the point, um, hopefully you guys can enjoy and appreciate this gameplay. It's somewhat of a shaky start, but... It ends pretty strong. I think I ended pretty strong. And there were some really exciting points in the game. So I figured I'd share with you guys. I had a lot of fun playing. And I think you guys will have a lot of fun watching it. But as per usual, I will not be talking about the gameplay at all. Um, I don't even know why I say that anymore. It's kind of a given, I'm sure. By now, you guys realize that I never talk about the gameplay. <laughs> I'm always talking about some off-topic stuff. But this is special, man. It's, it's a special commentary for me. Um, I just got back from los angeles well i didn't just but um i got back a couple of hours ago from los angeles just got home it's 2 a.m out here in the east coast but i think i'm still in pacific time because it feels like 11 um which is what it is over in the pacific time uh <laughs> but yeah i'm in eastern standard time i gotta go to bed soon because i do have to go to work tomorrow but i wanted to put together a little commentary just kind of giving you guys a rundown of my week my week at e3 which is super big um, now e3 is a gaming convention and um, it, it happens yearly it's huge all the biggest uh, you know what I'm saying all the biggest studios Activision EA Capcom uh, Blizzard Blizzard actually is not there but I did meet some Blizzard employees Blizzard has their own huge ass conference called BlizzCon um, so they don't have a booth but they're there. I mean, they, I got to talk to some of their employees, which was cool. I got to talk to people from Capcom, Infinity Ward, Activision, Treyarch. Um, you know what I'm saying? The list goes on. EA. I got to, you know, we kind of ate lunch with a dude from EA who helped on Battlefield. So it was super cool. Um, it was an awesome experience for me. It's like a nerd's, you know what I'm saying? A nerd's paradise, if you will. Just a bunch of like-minded people in one big-ass room. <laughs> discussing the things that we love games um but you know i want to do a little bit before i get into into the whole e3 thing and tell you guys how that all went because i will there's some cool modern warfare 3 news that i heard um i didn't get to play the game some people did get to play it um i i didn't get my hands on it myself but i did speak to some guys who played it and i have you know some stuff i'll share with you guys obviously because because uh, that's what i want to do fill you guys in with all the latest info i took a lot of pictures um which will probably be on my facebook page soon um you can go to my facebook and like it facebook.com slash bash lol um and i also took a bunch of video which i will be putting out throughout the week but tonight i'm kind of tired uh traveling and you know what i'm saying all that type of stuff so i'm not going to do it today i'm just going to put together this commentary uh but before i kind of you know go into the whole the whole e3 event itself Wanted to do a little bit of self-reflection because, you know, on the flight, man, on the way to E3, uh, which was which was all expenses paid for by Team Noble, which is which is the team that I'm part of. We were able to get a sponsor who sponsored it. Now, E3 is a, is a closed event. It's closed to, to the public. You got to be part of the industry. And on the way there, um, you know, on the plane right there, I was just, man, I was like baffled. Like, my mind just cleared out. And I was like, man... Bash, you are going to LA, you know what I'm saying, on sponsored money. Somebody has sponsored you to go to LA. E3 has deemed you enough part of the industry to allow you to come to this event. And, um, you know what I'm saying, all this stuff that's happening in my life, all this cool, awesome stuff that's happening in my life um, is possible just pretty much directly in part due to to you guys, to you guys who watch my videos, who support me, who, who listen to what I have to say, who enjoy this hobby of mine um, and, and kind of go through this whole experience with me. And it means a lot to me. Like, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Um, I mean, I don't think I've ever complained about views or not getting enough subs or, you know what I'm saying, not getting enough attention. You know, I'm not really an attention whore. Um... I personally am more so like thankful for what I do have rather than focusing on the things that I don't have. Um, you know what I'm saying? I have 70,000 odd subscribers. I can pull like, you know what I'm saying, about 10,000 views a video, which some people wouldn't say is, is all that great. But I'm super happy with just being able to even reach that many people. Like when you think about 10,000 people, that's a lot of fucking people. And I, excuse me for swearing, I barely ever swear, but 
man, that's a lot of people. And um, it means a lot to me that you guys support me and continue to support me. And I'm going to continue doing this. And it'll grow. Like, that's kind of my, uh, that's kind of always been my thing, man. I don't worry about the numbers too much because I know that YouTube's the type of thing, man, if you put time and effort into it, it'll grow and you'll get to where you want to be. And things will work out for the best if you just let them be. And I just wanted to really take a moment and really just say, yo, thank you to all you guys because without you, none of the stuff that I'm doing now will be possible. And, um,. Yeah, like, I'm loving life, and a lot of it is just due to the stuff that's happening around me, and that's due to you guys. So so thanks a lot for, for your support. It's it's always super appreciated. All you guys are always appreciated. And, um, yeah, yeah. Didn't, you know, soft moment over. Uh, <laughs> but um, let's get into E3. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Like I said, I got to meet a lot of cool industry people, if you will. Got a lot of cards. Handed out a lot of business cards. Got a lot of business cards. It was a cool experience. But the coolest part for me was getting a chance to meet all the people, uh, you know what I'm saying, all the people that I uh, that I meet, that I work with in this community. Um, I got to stay with Keep the Heat or Alex, who, who, who's a big YouTuber. He does like musical parodies. Not really involved in the gaming side, but he's huge. You guys probably know him. Um, I got to stay with the Optic dudes for, for a couple of days, which was awesome. Fwiz, Jay, Diesel, they're, they're all cool, super cool dudes and, and just welcomed us into the house and we had like a lot of fun, way too much fun in that house, but <laughs> T-Mart almost died, which was crazy, but <laughs> that's a story for another day, he's alright, he's good, he's got a couple scratches on him, but he's good, he almost died, but <laughs> man, all in all, it was just like an action-packed, super fun weekend and I can't wait to do it again, um, PAX Prime will probably be the next time I do it again. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll be releasing videos for you guys to see. I, I got to go to Universal Studios, which was awesome. I got to go to Disneyland with Scenander's Gold Glove and T-Mart, which was super cool. Um, yeah, I checked out. Uh, I got to go to Husky Starcraft's house. He had a little party out there. Machinima offices. That was amazing. So I got to do a lot of super cool things that I never thought I'd be able to do. Um, yeah, still amazed. Still amazed to this day. But thank you all for the support. Like I said already. Um, but now let's talk about E3. Let's let's real t real quickly talk about Modern Warfare 3 at E3. There was a super big like they hype. You know, Activision knows how to hype up an event. Um, there was like this Modern Warfare 3 revealer that they had, which really was just it was really stuff. It was there was nothing new there. It was the trailers you guys have all seen, but the way they presented it was super damn awesome. I have it all recorded and I'm gonna put it together and just kind of upload it for you guys to enjoy. Maybe later on tonight actually even. And that was super cool. Um, but, man, they know how to hype up an event because I was like, God really? damn, this is cool. But I didn't get to see anything new. Some people did, however, play some Modern Warfare 3. And um, those people uh, who I got to uh, talk to told me that Modern Warfare 3 feels exactly like Modern Warfare 2. It feels like Modern Warfare 2. It looks like Modern Warfare 2. But um, it's obviously not Modern Warfare 2. They got to play with the ACR. They said the ACR uh, feels exactly the same as it used to no recoil um they got to play spec ops mode so they didn't really get to see any perks or any stuff like that but they say this game speed is back it's a super fast game because that's kind of like what black ops seemed to be missing or lacking um, it's a super fast game it has that speed back it has that modern warfare 2 feeling dolphin diving is gone so we'll have to get used to that not a big deal in my eyes but um yeah all good things man they all all good things were said people are really hyped up for the game. I'm super hyped up for the game. And I'm going to try to start um, focusing more on Modern Warfare 3 as we get more news about it because it is coming close. It's coming soon, and um, it'll be here before we know it. I didn't get to play Battlefield 3, which sucked. But, um, man, this commentary is kind of coming close to an end. So I gotta gotta wrap it up. Don't want to let it go for too long. I'll probably do another commentary where I talk more in depth about kind of my, my real experience um, with developers, with studios, with games at E3, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. That always, always helps. And um, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, as always, you guys mean a lot to me. Like I said, let me get soft for a moment. Thanks for all the help you guys have been giving me, all the support you guys have been giving me. I'm going to keep on doing this. It's not going to stop anytime soon. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys all later. All right, peace out.